just finished phase one in the Sacramento wine cellar and it is really really shaping up nicely. When you come off of the elevator which is your point of view you're met with just massive massive monolithic rock that just basically has screams nothing but weight all through this area. When you come in there'll be two doors uh, that are being fabricated by a local artisan. They'll open up and you're into the main area. You've got a three inch thick granite display. There'll be probably magnums or something right here and underneath of here there'll be, uh, we're debating on it, but probably going with uh, lumber, big lumber that's a support the left and the right. And then in between there a gated, locked gated uh, vault if you will that has even more uh, specialties underneath of there. You're met with two decisions, to go right or to go left. As you see here, we've got the, the, the beams in, which, which these are really, really nice. They're very, very old and weathered beams. You have a curved rack right here. Nice big fractures in your rock. Nice big, you know, the, the story is really nice as you, as you enter into this uh, area. As you come in through this area, this entire wall it's like 16 feet of nothing but wine rack all the way down to this next rock feature. All of this is just a huge display. Very beautiful. And the rock will emanate up off of the top of it and dive into the ceiling, which will be completely covered with barn lumber as well. But as you look into the main room here, you'll see there's a TV that folds down and folds up into the ceiling. There'll be a granite uh, countertop as well. Another wine rack underneath the buffet area here. Behind this, there'll be three wine barrels with uh, dry stack rock all through that. And as you see here, we've got some fracture. I've got a little bit more work to do here. There's going to be a kind of a deep crevice uh, grotto area right in here. All of the seats are going to be, you know, fabricated right into the to the. Uh, to the rock work and they'll be fractured accordingly. You've got a huge rack right here that's a double deep going into this special little grotto room right here which is covered from, from the left all the way to the right. It's a huge circular rack. And the interesting thing about this room is this is one of the rooms where the uh, vines, we have special vines that are being fabricated out of copper and they're going to be coming up and swelling into this rock and be daggering through this whole area and they'll basically cling to the rock, cling to the wood, cling to the stone over here. There'll be just you know dozens of feet of vineage going in all directions here. There'll also be another vine that comes up through here that kind of just clings to the rock and goes out and makes its way up to the uh, ceiling. There'll be roughly 30 clusters of grapes that will be hanging and supporting from all of these areas. It just, it's just going to look absolutely beautiful. As you turn over to this way, you see more fractured rock, various grottos. This dais here is an eight-foot circular, or curved, I should say, curved wine rack with, you know, the stone going up, and then, of course, the wood meeting up to the stone as well. You really don't know how much how, how high the stone goes up, but the, the wood uh, ceiling will basically accent that really nicely. In the middle of our room here, we have a seven foot redwood table that's being fabricated. Absolutely gorgeous. And in the middle of the table, there'll be approximately a four foot high redwood Lazy Susan that will be able to spin. So whether it's drinks or hors d'oeuvres or whatever, those will all spin around as you sit in these you know, places enjoying your you know, beverage of choice. Up through here, which was the first option, you've got little areas here where there'll be gates or iron, uh, special iron gates that'll be lockable. You'll be able to open up these gates and, and you'll be able to see a choice bottle that's a, a vendor's choice or what, a vintage bottle or collector's bottle in these, these certain areas here. And then you're back into another curved rack and this takes us back to our entranceway. So as you see from here, all the, the views are really nice. We've got nice fractures, nice rock work that's coming into play. And of course, uh, it's just going to scream. Tasty. Tasty all the way through. <laughs> 
The last thing that we're going to see is the way in and out. Now, you have an elevator that goes up and down, but there is an access door on this side. Right through here, there'll be another six foot rack right here that's curved, more architecture. I got a little bit more work to do here. And as you look at the entranceway, there'll be more fractured rock with granite or uh, old world lumber, weathered timbers all the way up to the door. I've got a little bit more sculpting to do by the door. And then up here, we'll have stone facing. This will all, from, from the fractures up, there'll be stone facing where the, where the timbers were put into place. And then the, uh, the masons came in and, you know, put all the dry stack up to tighten up that wall for, the, for, the, for these beams. And then right in through here, there'll be more stone facing and then stone facing about our door with a speakeasy right here. That will be a nice curved door and they'll be able to receive UPS shipments and various shipments. You can open up the door, you can look out, you know, have some guests come in here and this is the first thing that they see. So, uh, very exciting. Phase one is over for Sacramento. Phase one in Chicago is over. Uh, next week, uh, we're going to mobilize the wine cellar that we fabricated in our warehouse. Uh, that's going to be exciting. And then maybe in the next week or two or three weeks, uh, I'll be back out here to do uh, a finish up with some of the artists uh, with lighting and other options for the clients. So stay tuned. This is getting really exciting, guys. Hope to see you soon. Mom. Mom.